Darwin Nunez is a name that was on Manchester United's list this summer of potential signings. The Benfica striker who scored like 30 plus goals last year. Could he come into Man United? Yeah, he could have done. But it looks like he's going to be going to Liverpool for 100 million euros. And I'll tell you what, there has been an ins almost insane reaction from some United fans to this whole Nunes situation. So I wanted to do a video. It's more of like an opinion video. I don't really do that many of these. But so many are absolutely fuming at the mouth that it has turned from this to this. And that Manchester United are responsible for it because we don't go out there and aggressively make signings immediately. And this is a complete fucking shambles. And oh, I've got it. look, let me just do this video and let me please listen to what I've got to say because I understand if there's frustrations about United in the transfer window. Jeez. We know why we're frustrated. We've seen what we've done in, in the transfer window for year after year after year. I don't think this is one of those situations that you, you can beat United up with it. I don't think so anyway. And I want to explain exactly why. So please make sure you subscribe. Actually, no, just let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Because as I said, Darwin Nunez to Manchester United was definitely a name on the list of the club. And now that this whole Liverpool situation has developed... It's very easy and simple for people to just look at this and go, well, the only reason this has happened is because Manchester United, we're shit at, we're, we're, we're crap at what we're doing. If we really were a serious club, we would have gone in and signed Darwin Nunes early doors. Liverpool wouldn't have been able to come in. This is a big problem. When it comes to Darwin Nunes, you remember the price that we were quoted towards the start of the summer? Well, if you don't, I'll bring it up for you here. This is David Ornstein back in April. And the price there, 70 million euros was linked. And that was from David Ornstein. And it well, actually dropped to 60 million in this one here. Sources close to the matter think Darwin Nunez can be got for around about 60 million euros. And that was on the 16th of May. Now we're here on the 9th of June. And we're seeing this develop. Benfica want 85 million pounds, not euros, for Liverpool target. You've got James Pearce from The Athletic saying Liverpool will need to break the transfer record to sign Darwin Nunez. And then you've got Fabrizio Romano saying that the official proposal from Liverpool for Darwin Nunez will be 80 million euros plus 20 million euros in add-ons. And the Liverpool are ready to offer that to him. And then you've got Sam Wallace from The Telegraph saying that Liverpool expect to sell Dario Mane for 40 million pounds, and that's going to fund their Dar Darwin Nunes situation. And then uh, since that's happened, there's been an explosion of angry United fans who are looking at this Darwin Nunes situation as, a, as another massive failure by the club as a failure by the club to act swift, act fast. And I, I couldn't really disagree anymore because it wouldn't matter how slowly or how fast this Nunes situation developed. If that really was the price that, was, that it was always going to be, £85 million, pounds, I wouldn't go near him with a barge pole. With a barge pole. That sort of price for a striker... It should be guaranteeing you 20 plus goals in the Premier League. Erling Haaland, you can't really fairly compare those two prices because one was a release clause uh, and uh, that was built into the Dortmund contract. It's the only reason he signed for Dortmund. But United, and this is what I said, this is what I absolutely stand by. The situation at Liverpool this summer transfer window and the situation at Manchester United are two entirely incomparable situations. Liverpool. On the one hand, they're in a situation where it looks like Mane is going to be leaving and they've got an impasse over Salah's contract. But they need to bring in a new attacker. What else do they need to do inside that squad this summer? Pretty much sweet FA. What do Manchester United need to do? An absolute bucket load. And I've said there, I said our squad, just simply put, is not good enough right now for us to go and spend 100 million euros on, let's be honest, it's a risk signing a 22-year-old striker who's had a breakthrough, an incredible breakthrough season at Benfica. But there's no guarantee that's going to happen and come in straight away and work at Manchester United. And the fact of the matter is, we've got such bigger problems inside this squad. And this is, I can't be asked to keep talking about, it's like Jadon Sancho's situation. Love the guy. Think he's a great signing. Was he the most important signing that summer? No, he was not. We need to be talking about stuff like this. Sangare, and Sangare, Sangare, sorry, I'm just annihilated his name. The PSV midfielder we've been linked with. Now, you might fairly come here and say, Sam, hold on here. 
Manchester United should be able to be having a conversation with Darwin Nunez at the same time as we're having a conversation over signing Frankie de Jong. At the same time as we're having a conversation over signing Yuri and Timber. And in that sense, I do agree. That's probably a misgiving of what Manchester United do in the transfer window. And I hope that's something that does get resolved this summer. So if you do have a frustration about that part in particular, then yeah, I would completely agree. But for, for people to try and, and look at this uh, Nunez situation, and it looks like he's going to be going towards Liverpool. Let's see what the final fee is. But as I said, if I ran through it here, Fabrizio Romano, they're saying that that fee is going to be 100 million euros. There's absolutely sweet fuck all chance I would have wanted United to spend 100 million euros on Darwin Nunez, given what we've got to do this summer. All right. And the idea that you can use this Nunez situation to prove that John Murto is shit at his job, that John Murto is just another Ed Woodward, that John Murto is completely and utterly failed. It's like, come on, guys. The transfer window still isn't officially open until tomorrow. Like, I understand the frustrations of not having the signings now, of not getting things done early, but this Nunez situation, given that price tag, it's something I don't think United were ever really going to be doing. Going back towards what it was at the start of the summer here, 70 million, 60, 70 million. From, that was what David Ornstein was saying about it. And Nunez to United, and that was back in April. And actually went back a little bit further than that. That was a price that I think we could have all looked at Darwin Nunez and said, you know what, that makes sense. Ultimately, we as football fans don't really give a shit how much a player costs. right? So I'm not here to get offended by how much a player costs. But I'm here to try and bring us back to reality as United fans and say we know what we need to do this summer. And we know that Nunez was an option. But at that price tag, it's not a realistic option for what Manchester United simply need to do. We don't have the budget for that. And you can go, ah, oh, Savage, just you being a Glazer sympathizer. I'm not a fucking Glazer sympathizer. And it's the, literally the worst person in the world you can say that to. The amount of anti-Glazer videos I've got in this video is insane. So this isn't me saying that. But this is me bringing it back to reality, back to what we know our budget is going to be, and back to what we know we need to do this summer. And genuinely, a player like Darwin Nunez, he's probably third on that list. Second or third. First is a central midfielder, and I would argue first is somebody like Ibrahim Sangare, a defensive midfielder. Second is probably that playmaker. We need a spine before we put the crown on top of it. That's what someone like Darwin Nunez would have been. Ultimately, it would have been a bit of a luck. It's not a luxury signing because we need an attacker. All right, We can't be relying on 37-year-old Cristiano Ronaldo for another season. So the idea of Nunes coming in would have been a fantastic signing. I absolutely stand by that. And I've got no doubt that if he does go to Liverpool, it will be a fantastic signing for them. But it's just not a situation where I think you can fairly say that Manchester United have failed this summer. Because there's no way we were ever going to pay £100 million. The hypothetical situation, of course, and this is probably why people are getting annoyed, is, ah, Sam, it's 100 million now. Have we agreed it three, four weeks ago? It wouldn't have been 100 million. Now, bear in mind that Benfica are going to be selling 20%, they're going to be losing, sorry, 20% of anything they get for him because that's, I think they had a, a sell on fee, I think it was with Almiri that they signed him from. So that's why that's going to be an overinflated price. But I just I, I don't get the I don't get the outrage. It's for me it seems like faux outrage. Like oh it's just another situation where United miss out on a player. Oh we're so shit. Oh my god, look at what everyone else is doing. Look how crap United are. Sack them all. Get rid of them all. Let's start all over again. That won't happen. Most of them have been sacked, and we're in a situation now where hopefully this man here does the job properly this summer. And I'm not going to sit here and sort of lead with a voice that's saying that he's failed miserably in his job when his job realistically hasn't even properly got started yet this summer. The transfer window opens tomorrow. And I like to think that come the start of the season, we're all going to be happy with our transfer business. It looks like it's not going to include Darwin Nunez, who it looks like is going to be going to Liverpool. And as I showed you here and I ran through there, look, the idea of Darwin Nunez for 70 million, hell, even 60 million, according to David Ornstein back in April and May, that was something we could have all got on board with. It all made sense at that price. You can understand, you can see the funds going to Nunez, you can see the funds going to De Jong and Timber. Cool, yeah. 85 million, you can get in the bin. Get straight in the bin. We can't afford to make any sort of mistake like that. We've made too many of them before, right? This summer is about signing the correct players for the correct prices. That's not it. 
That is not it. Now, whether or not that could have been cheaper, had we agreed it earlier, I suppose we'll never know. And that's where a lot of your frustrations are going to lie. But I'm just saying, man, give this fucking guy a chance before you literally throw him under the bus. And again, I'm not here as a sympathizer. I'm here as somebody who wants my football club to succeed. Right? Let's see where we're at at the end of the summer. But I just don't think this situation here with Darwin Nunez and the idea that he's going Liverpool is one that you need to get too angry about. My personal opinion. Now you, I'm sure plenty of you will disagree with me in the comments. You let me know what you think, but 85 million wouldn't touch him with a barge pole. Just my, just my opinion.